Okay, so September didn't have the traditional pullback that it usually has is when it comes to the market. So um, will there be one before the end of the year? There was one today. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like the market pull, uh, if you don't see a big pullback on a daily or weekly chart, go to, said that investors, uno hora. Go to the one hour chart. You're going to see a pullback somewhere. You mean to tell me if the S&P has 500 stocks in it, the Russell 2000 has 2000. If you scan through, you can make a scanner on Charles Schwab or Yahoo Finance. Um, you won't find one stock that doesn't pull back five or ten percent. It's there. We had a little pullback today, but the thing is, when you do have those pullbacks, where you take advantage of them, that's what's most important. And, and here's another thing: even with them not calling this recession a recession, and uh, with the September pullback not happening because of rates, which tells us who's going to win the election. Um, I think they're making it more difficult to recreate the trades of 07 and 08 all over again. They gave us COVID. We knocked that out of the park. I don't think they want as many retail investors in the market. So I don't think the signals are going to be the same. I don't think we're going to get as deep of a crash as we did before. And if they do, they'll be short lived. That's the one thing I, I will agree with for sure, Troy, on SMC, SMCI. Since we haven't had this much of a value discount on a stock in a long time, it's going to rise pretty quickly when it takes off. The same with Alibaba. We'll talk about it in a little bit, but Baba has done pretty well over the last couple of weeks as a result. But I don't think the greater powers that be want us to have a replicatable model of 2008 or 2020 again. Yeah. Every crisis is going to be different. I feel like we, we've had some some pullbacks um we saw in different sectors right like we saw the semis pull back in august obviously we saw what happened with <laughs> cyber security when the crowd struck <laughs> in august and in yeah. uh september we saw some pullbacks they just haven't been sustainable even yeah. two weeks ago when we, we saw nvidia uh actually coming out out of investfest or leading into investors we saw nvidia fall down to 102 absolutely 97 Mid September, it got back down to 105. And so we, we've seen these pullbacks. It just hasn't been sustainable, um, like we have in September's in the past probably three to four years. Um, but there's a lot that goes into that. The 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 Fed rate definitely played a role in a catalyst Absolutely. to make sure that that didn't happen. Um, we'll see in October. October does, is one of those months. Traditionally, has been decent on average. I think that the Dow has moved. I think seven tenths of a percent mm -hmm. uh, positive side nasdaq about maybe one percent um so there's going to be some some choppy orders mm -hmm. um but we said uh, you know obviously there's an election coming up that'll play a role uh but sure. toward the tail end of october we should we should start to see where we're going to move um going toward the year's end november has always had traditionally been the best month yeah, it's gonna be a great month we, we've all, we've said this for the past five years. November's been a great month, and we're right here. Um, so those September pullbacks that we saw, great time to take advantage to see the the benefits awesome. in November, and then leading to to the end of the year, the the Christmas rally. So uh, we're not out the neck of uh, the woods yet. There should be some more choppy water, um, but it's promising leading into November that we yeah. didn't have it for a fall in September. And I don't want to be this arrogant to say it, but we're here. I want to do some research and see how much of an impact we're having post Invest Fest. Because a lot of those fears went away after, um, for sure, this year. But last year, I'm seeing a nice incline the two weeks after. So maybe we can have Frank or somebody on verify this data to see if, you know, th there's been an impact had while we're talking about metrics. I, I, you know, the metric I would I would love to see yes. is uh, retail investor confidence. That would be a great one. I think overall, the sediment when we speak to people outside, mm -hmm. yes, they've had trades that maybe it didn't work. Yeah. But it wasn't like I'm closing my brokerage account. I'm leaving. Yeah. Here. Oh, but the long term, they're not even at this point. It's amazing. They're not right. even worried about what to do. It's oh, yeah. I give it two months. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, all right. Yeah. I got into a new position. I still believe in the company. That belief is there. That confidence is growing. We obviously saw the numbers of people that from our community that are now opening brokerage account, which is mm -hmm. super encouraging. There's a there's a change. There's a yeah, change. I like change. that. We should look into that. Yeah, 
I do want to ask you guys a question. You don't have to reveal who you interviewed this week, but how long did it take you to build that relationship? And post interview, what do you think the return on that relationship potentially could be? When Rashad and Troy get in a story, about two years? Uh, yeah, probably like two years. Two or three. Two or three years. Years. <laughs> Not weeks. For one interview, right? One interview. Yeah. We um this it interview was time, man. This yeah, we it, this 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 interview actually has multiple layers because it there's there's some some stories that have happened during our journey when we were trying to get to this interview. But um right. yeah, you, nothing happens before it's time and Sometimes relationships need to to you need to nourish them, and it has to be the right. Yeah, the time has to be right. Um, where they're at in their their own world needs Matters. to be right. Where they're at financially, mentally, has to be right. So you never rush these things, but yeah, you just what you do is just keep doing the work. Yeah, keep doing the work. Right, you you don't want to fall off because it's like, oh yeah, th that's why I didn't do it. I knew these guys wouldn't be here. So just being consistent, doing the work, and making relationships with other people because. Like when we did the interview, we found out that there were some relationships that were there that we knew of, but we didn't even realize how strong they were, yeah. um, which is which is interesting, too. Yeah. How do you stay patient throughout that without being frustrated? Because I mean, it's easy to say, oh, two years, it's not that long. But it's like, no, in, some interviews can make or break you. But can you tell us how, like, while you're building that relationship, how do you stay patient while being consistent? Yeah, I mean, I think you got to um, realize that you can't put all your eggs in one basket so you just got to keep working like you know it's like you're trying to get somebody for invest fest like you know if yeah. it happens then that's great but if not then it can't be like okay well if we don't get this person then it's not going to happen so you just you the show must go on no matter what so um you know you you just keep going regularly schedule programming keep you know doing what you've been doing um targeting different people staying in touch following up whatever and then whenever the time is right then it don't, it don't happen, but I think sometimes people put too much emphasis. Like I said, they put all the eggs in one basket, and it's like it makes or breaks the situation, and that's dangerous because it's like if yeah. it doesn't happen, then everything's gonna fall apart. So, yeah, you can never you can never rely on something that hasn't happened yet. Yeah, you gotta say pay, be patient, and because I remember even with the fifty situation, when we was in at the office. I was like, no man, let's just pay him. No, he's like, let's wait. We do that for for him, and then eventually, it worked out, and probably the, well, it worked out. The introduction and routing was way better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, patience. I, I know other people who pay for certain interviews and interviews didn't come out on time or they looked a certain way. It's like, like you patience. Said, patience yeah. is a vir patience is a virtue. Virtue, yes, long term. Right. Gotta, yeah. gotta have patience. That's that's important. That's yeah. important for sure. Yeah, for sure. Very important. Every day. Yeah, yeah. And, we, and we still cooking.